friends welcome to programming knowledge in this video we will see how we can delete all the data from the table in our previous video we saw that how we can drop the table and in this video we will see if you want to truncate your table then how you can do it so let us first understand the syntax so Okay, so the syntax is mm, pretty obvious, truncate, because you want to truncate your table, then table, and name the table that you want to truncate, and that's it, it is syntax. Now, lots of people asking that uh, if they can use delete query to truncate the table and my answer is yes you can use the delete statement but uh, the work that both the command is, is doing is pretty much the same but the approach they are taking is different if i talk about delete query then delete statement first scan the entire table and then delete each row one by one uh, if we talk about truncate then it will delete the entire table first it means all the rows will be gone and then recreate it recreate the table with the same schema so if you are working with small table it means that your table doesn't have that many of rows and it doesn't affect that much if you are using truncate or delete statement but if you are dealing with a large amount of data let's say your table contains millions of rows then using delete statement will be more costlier than truncate statement it puts lots of pressure on the server and it requires a lot of time if i compare it to the truncate so it's better to use truncate table in order to delete all the data present in the table. So this is the syntax and let us first open the terminal. Okay, so write PSQL. Now let us see which are the databases present in our system. For that use backslash l okay so we have test database so we are going to use that for connecting it right backslash c name of the database test. now we are connected to test database now let us see which are the tables present in test database so we have employee table and student table let us see the data present in student table. Select star from student basic select statement and it has a no rows. Okay, it is empty. So let us first insert some values in this table. Insert into values. So it has ID and name. One zero one. We can insert multiple values. I forgot to specify the name of the table insert into student okay so four rows has been inserted let us see that select star from student okay 
okay so this is the data now i want to delete all the rows all the data present in this table so we are going to use that truncate command truncate the name of the table Just fire this query. Truncate table is executed. Let us see if table is present or not. Let's test it. Student table and data. As you can see, it is empty. So this is how you can use truncate command. To truncate your table. So close your terminal, open pgadmin, test and the query tool. Okay. Okay, so this time we are going to use employee table. So let us see which are the data present in employee table. Sorry for that. Okay, so it is also empty. So let us first insert some value. Insert into employee. Values. It has employee ID and name. Let us say one one one. Okay. Three row has been inserted. Now Truncate the command will be same truncate table the name of the table that you want to truncate this time employee so our table is truncated let us see select star from employee as you can see so this is how you can truncate your table to delete all the data present in the table. Thanks for watching it.